It's good, it's alright. <laughs> cool. Um, cool. Okay, guys, so I think um, we're going to shift gears a little bit here uh, because I'm not singing. And this is just the concept I want to deliver to you. Um, I've been working on this idea. I hope you never fit in for a little while now, a few months. And for me, I've never connected to something that's been so life-changing in all of my life, you know? Feeling invisible for 25 years, really, wanting to fit in, like wanting to, to please the crowd, but feeling lost. Not even like lost as in, oh, I'm good here. I don't even know who I am, kind of lost, you know? And this is why I want to share this message with people, because I hope you never fit in. Like I seriously really hope this, no matter how hard it gets when we're not fitting in, no matter how difficult it is to be different, for people to be like, you're a weirdo, man. your ideas are crazy, you're an idiot, whatever, get back in the box. I don't want us to get in the box, man. I want us all to celebrate each other, being outside of that box, really, really running with what could be possible for ourselves. So this idea never fits in is really uh, an idea of us actually meeting ourselves and way fucking more of our potential. At the moment, I'm trying to put, to get, put it together in a game kind of sense, you know? And, and the game is hide and seek. <laughs> the game is hide and seek, hide and seek for the soul. This version of you, each and every one of you, this version of you is hiding another version of you. And this is the point, I want you to meet yourself, I want you to meet a different version of who you are. You know, one that's been hidden because you keep dressing up as the same person, you keep being that person because everyone agrees with you, like how you are now. Fuck it, change it, you know, do something different, explore, explore what else is out there for us. So this idea of um, hide and seek for the soul is one particular part that I'm sort of working on at the moment, like a, a way of us challenging ourselves. And, and it's to do with unwritten rules, you know? We kind of go around the world like, with these social blinders on, like we're all just abiding to unwritten rules all the time. And it's good, you know, like we don't like rules, so we created unwritten rules. <laughs> Ta-da, right? It's like magic trick. We don't like rules, create unwritten rules. But the thing is we shot ourselves in the foot massively by doing that, by going around like, agreeing with, a, with an idea, you know, it's not even real life. Oh, I believe that we shouldn't go up to random people and just compliment them. That was one thing for me in my head. Like, I wouldn't go up to someone and just compliment them because I think they look cool. I want to make friends, though, you know? I want to make friends with people. I want to be invited to events. I want to be invited to exhibitions. I want to go on dates with people on adventures, right? So I created this stupid rule don't go around and, and compliment people. Like, what good is that? And it's me just agreeing with myself all the time when I leave the house and I'm like looking at someone and they look really cool. I'm like, yeah, but you don't go up to someone and compliment them. So anyway, this is um, like a thing I wanna readdress us. Like we're playing a game here, hide and seek, but oh shit, we lost the rule book, right? We forgot how to play this game of life. We really forgot how to play it. It's a problem. Uh, and I think what we should start doing is get aware, become more aware of all the unwritten rules that we have. Because I don't know if you guys have ever played pool. This is a... Uh, I think I'm still making sense here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember my dad playing pool. My dad was good at pool. And my dad was good in my eyes at playing pool with all of these people like coming up and they're making bets and they're doing all bets with each other. My dad's doing these really cool trick shots and he's like, you know, all the time like really nearly losing and then he does some trick shots. And then one, one time he comes up, there's a bet on the table and this guy does a move that me and my dad are like, you can't do that. You can't do that move. 
But the guy's Scottish, and the guy's playing by Scottish people, so it's okay for him, right? And, and he wins, and he takes all the money. And my point here is if we just <laughs> question these rules that we were playing by, stop making stuff so complicated, because we're doing it in our way, and we did it in a different way, we, we hit the ball in the most simple way. I want to go on adventures with people, I want to go to events with people, I should probably go up to them and compliment them, right? Make it easy for myself, rather than agreeing with myself all the time, playing this game that makes no sense, just make it simple. So my point here, if I haven't lost you, right, is just be aware of these unwritten rules that we're abiding by, that you can't make friends, or you can't go up to someone at work and hug them. You can't express to your family how you feel because you've never done it before. It's all bullshit, okay? I want everyone to make this game of hide and seek really, really easy and find a different version of themselves by the end of it. Okay, so that's my point. <laughs> and uh, I understand it's, it's a crazy person speaking, right? <laughs> so if you want to ask me questions later, I would uh, be happy to add more to this. Uh, but thanks, thanks for letting me share that with you. Cool. <laughs>